Season two of the show Reacher, which is based on the international best-selling author's Lee Child's book, is out, and fans have been ecstatic since the show aired on December 15th. With only a few episodes left to air, it's safe to say that the new characters are loved with the same intensity as the old. So let's take a peek into how the cast came to be and where we have seen them before. Before going into this video, spoiler alert, so if you haven't watched the series or read the books, you have been warned. The story is fast forwards more than two years from the end of season one, adapting Lee Child's 11th book, Bad Luck and Trouble. This change in storyline meant saying goodbye to some of the characters from the first season to make room for new ones. But have no fear, because the new ones are just as good as the old, if not better. The show seems to be going at a different route, where each season tackles a different book from the Jack Reacher series, bringing in fresh characters and stories. Season 2, which started on December 15th of 2023, introduces viewers to Reacher's 110th Special Investigations Unit and a bunch of other characters in the action thriller series. In Season 2 of Reacher, the main character, Jack Reacher, is back, played by Alan Richson. After tough times in Season 1, Reacher is back to his wanderer lifestyle, but then things take a turn. His friend, Calvin Franz from the 110th MP Special Investigations Unit, gets murdered, pulling Reacher into yet another mystery. He teams up with Francis Neagley in New York, and they bring in the old unit buddies to dig into Francis' death. Now, before Reacher, Richson did a bunch of other shows and movies. You might recognize him as Aquaman in Smallville, Hawk in Titans, Bad Castle in Blue Mountain State, and Raphael in 2014's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, and he also played Gloss, the District 1 male tribute in The Hunger Games Catching Fire. So he's been around, bringing his talent to different roles before stepping into the shoes of the iconic Jack Reacher. The folks behind the Reacher series had a tough time finding the right actor for Jack Reacher. The big, smart, and handsome man in the books is definitely hard to recreate in real life. Well, they initially passed over Alan Richson, whom they did eventually cast. It was a tricky role to fill because, as one of the producers put it, Lee Child wrote a character that doesn't exist in the real world. The showrunner, Nick Santora, talked about it in an interview. He explained that Richson's audition had left an impression, but they still looked at many other talented actors. Don Granger, another producer, often said that Jack Reacher is the biggest and smartest person in the world, which makes it a hard character to cast. Finally, they circled back to Richson, and after comparing him to other seasoned actors, they realized that he was the one. It wasn't just about talent, it was about finding someone who could embody this larger-than-life character, so to speak. Centaur mentioned that they didn't lose sleep over the decision because they had an amazing cast. The screen tests, especially with Richson, reassured them. Once Richson was on set, doing screen tests and working with other actors, Centaur knew they made the right call. He even mentioned sighs of relief, not just because Richson fit the role, but because he was kind and respectful to everyone. Having a lead actor who's a pleasure to work with makes everyone's job easier. Now, let's talk about Lee Child, the creator of Jack Reacher. Now, he wasn't a big fan of Tom Cruise playing Reacher in the movies. Child prefers a much larger and more intimidating Reacher, closer to the descriptions in his book, and we can now guess why Tom Cruise did not make Lee Child happy. With Richson, he's happy not just because of the acting, but because the actor looks the part too. And it's important for the character's narrative, especially the intimidating presence Reacher is supposed to have. In season 2 of Reacher, there is more than just Alan Richson coming back. Maria Stinn, who played Frances Neagley in season 1, is back too. She's a corporate security pro and a series regular this time. Neagley contacts Reacher when their friend Calvin Franz is murdered, and Reacher rushes to New York to help her out. Together, they bring back the 110th Special Investigations Unit, which was a whole nother thing in the other books. Maria Stinn is also known for being in Channel Zero, The Dream Door, and Swap Thing. Another familiar face is Sean Sipos, playing David O'Donnell, another 110th Special Investigations Unit member. In Season 2, O'Donnell, now a lawyer with a family, joins Reacher and Neagley in New York to solve Franz's murder. Even with a family, he's still got those skills as a fighter and investigator. Sean Sipos has been in a bunch of other shows and movies like The Complete Savages, Life Unexpected, The Vampire Diaries, and Krypton. So it's not just Reacher returning, there's a crew of characters returning making Season 2 even better. In Reacher Season 2, meet Dominic Lambardozzi as Giatano Guy Russo, an NYPD officer who's a bit skeptical about Reacher. Lambardozzi is known from other shows and movies like The Wire, Tulsa King, 
Entourage, A Bronx Tale, Bridge of Spies, and The Irishman. Now every good story needs its villain, right? Ferdinand Kingsley takes on that role as A.M., a shady character involved in some not so great things. A.M. is not just one person, but goes by different names like Adrian Mount and Andrew McBride, of course earning him the nickname A.M. This bad guy is working with another villain, as we find out in episode 3. Kingsley has been in various roles, like Hamza Bey in Dracula Untold, Mr. Francatelli in Victoria, Irving Thalberg in Mank, Hob Gadling in The Sandman, and George Wilkins in Silo. So we've got Robert Patrick playing Shane Langston, the head of security for the private defense contractor. This is our second villain. In a flashback, Langston is shown torturing friends and having a chat about Reacher coming for him once he learns about the murders. Langston is teaming up with AM, and their evil plans is still a mystery. Robert Patrick is known for his roles in Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Spy Kids, The X-Files, Sons of Anarchy, and more, so he's definitely no stranger to playing the bad guy. Now let's talk about Serena Swan, who joins season 2 as Carla Dixon. Also a fresh face, she's part of Reacher's unit and works as a forensic accountant in corporate risk management. When Reacher and Neagley need help investigating Francis' death, Dixon steps in. From the beginning, there's a vibe between Reacher and Dixon, though they don't act upon it until episode 2. We'll have to see if their chemistry turns into something more in the rest of the season. Serena Swan has been in Chicago Fire, Inhumans, Ballers, Coroner, Smallville, and Graceland before diving into the action of Reacher. She's also been in movies like Redemption Day and Devotion. Meet Andre Colantes as George Sanchez in Reacher Season 2. Sanchez is a former member of the 110 Specials Investigation Unit. The team sets out to find him in Atlantic City, but they get some tough news, which you'll know when you watch the series. Colantes, known from The Night Agent, A Million Little Things, and I Zombie, takes on this role in the action crime series. Also, there's Edson Morales playing Manuel Orozco, another member of Reacher's unit who went missing. Before Reacher, Morales appeared in shows like Lost Girl, Rookie Blue, Rain, Black Summer, and Awake. Shannon Cook takes on the role of Tony Swan, a member of the 110th Special Investigations Unit in the show. But what keeps us on the edge of our seats is this. Whether he's a hero or a villain becomes a big question by the end of Episode 3. Now you might recognize Cook from other TV shows like The 100, Nancy Drew, Degrassi, The Next Generation, Shadowhunters, or even as Drew Thomas in the Conjuring film series. Now we have Luke Bylet playing Calvin Franz. His time in Reacher Season 2 is pretty short-lived, sadly since the premiere kicks off with Franz's murder, setting the story in motion. Bylet has been in other films and TV shows like Kiss and Cry, F the Prom, Degrassi The Next Generation, Lost Girl, and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Dean McKenzie joins the action in Reacher Season 2 as Stanley Lowry, the oldest and a sharpshooter in the Special Investigators. But you see, in Episode 1, we find that Stanley passed away a couple years ago. Besides Reacher, you might have seen McKenzie in other shows and movies like The X-Files, Vertical Limit, Exit Wounds, Shooter, Arrow, Riverdale, and Supernatural. Even though Stanley might not be a part of the present story, his character definitely adds a twinge of connection with the history of the Special Investigators, and this makes the show even more interesting. But that's going to do it for today's video, folks. Like and subscribe, and make sure to click on the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.